All right, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. Uh, today, we're gonna go ahead and take the clock from the dashboard and see if we can't get it working because it clearly isn't working. The dirt and grime's gotten in there and we don't know if it needs a cleaning or you know whether it needs repairs. So let's dig into it and see if we can fix it, all right? We got the clock out of the dashboard uh, and we need to get it to a part and let's see if we can figure this out. We pop this so this case is pinged on there so it should be pretty easy to pop off. We'll uh, I'll just do a little, put a little pressure here. Oh, that worked. There. It came off rather easily actually. And uh, this is the positive, and this little tab here is your negative. And uh, there's a little set of brushes right here. Or a t uh, here it is, right in there. I gotta clean them up <coughs> and lube it. I think it'll work once we've done that. We can give it a shot here anyway. And what grid are you using? 3,000. That yeah, should be good enough for points or contacts. Here's one doing? side. One side of the points. The other's already been pushed down. It it cycles. Uh, it's actually that's how it winds the the uh, process of the clock. This okay. is an old analog. It's a lot cleaner in there than I thought it would be. Yeah, it isn't very dirty at all. Ah, let me see if I can get to... Pretty grungy looking points. Oh yeah, let's go to the other side now. Wow, can you use the light? Now let's put power to it. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see. This has got to be ground as well. That's it. It's all screwed together there. Okay, now. Positive. It'll be up here. Top ladder. There, hook the positive to it now. Let's see if we can get it to function. Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's still hanging up. Probably gonna need some kind of of uh, lubricant or cleaned out. Cleaning the works with some uh, contact cement or electronic cleaning cleaner, and that usually doesn't leave any residue. I'm going to put some of this lubricant on it, and then we'll blow it out. We have pressure louder. I said once we get the lubricant in there, we're going to have to blow it, blow out the excess. Okay, now we're going to blow a little of the excess lubricant out of there. You don't want it too much of it in there. Now let's kick her on. See if she keeps going. Can you see the work, sir? Oh, looks like it's functioning. I just want to get her all the way down so it has to cycle. Oh, just stopped. <laughs> it's just probably a little gummy in there. May even lube it one more time and blow it out one more time. You can see it's, it's working in there right now. I want to see if it triggers it to rewind. It stopped again. We'll have to work this thing out. 
It may take a few minutes to get this thing going. So you can see, guys, it keeps keeps hanging up, hanging up, and stopping. So we're not sure whether it just needs a little bit more cleaning. Okay, what we did was put power to it. I cleaned the points. If I can find them again, they're right there. As soon as it touches, it will cycle. It's really sensitive. Come on. Should pop open right here. There, there it goes. Went. Okay. By golly, it's working. That's great. The cleaning did the job. Okay. So I don't know if you guys saw it. I, I could see it's the spark in the. the the uh, it, re it, 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 the it energized here and here between here and here worked. It opened it, up that relay and it pulled out. Yeah, and it energizes this coil. An automatic rewinding function. Yep. Looking it, like it's working. Is it still working? Uh, I, actually, position of it is really important. I notice that if you get a set on the side or gets turned a little bit, it wants to quit. There you go. You see it move? Yep, there it goes. We have a second hand. All right. So you can see the second hand is working. And it's still back. running. This is very old school clocks. Very sensitive clock. Well, guys. You might have it fixed. So what did, what did you have to do to get it done? Well, we had to lube it and then blow out the lubricant. And uh, we sprayed it with some uh, um, contact cement, which got rid of all the, the gook, I there. hope. And uh, then we sprayed the lubricant and then blew that out twice. And the second time seemed to do the job. So really, it sounds like a lot of cleaning. Yeah, pretty much. And then what about the points? Well, they had to be cleaned, too. So they, were, they were not arcing properly. Okay, so, so guys, just like... Uh, just like you clean up, you know, the points on your car, these things have a, a set of points too. Yep. And if they're not cleaned, that doesn't want to function either. So the, those control the uh, yeah, rewinding or the, the winding function of this clock. And it don't still, run that long each, with each rewind. So it's doing really well. It's still running. Yep. There so it that just, just worked and it just clicked again. So that means the rewind function is working. That's great. And it's still functioning, you know. All right. There you go, guys. We got a clock. I'm going to just put it back together. Okay, well, I stole this. Oh, you want to replace the light bulbs? Uh, yes. Why don't we do that before we put it back in? Okay, so we're... We're going to show you basically how it goes together. We'll, uh, we're going to not put it together, guys, because uh, we want to replace these light bulbs. So we're not going to put it together permanently. It'll just pop back together. But I'd like to get it back together enough to where we can put power again to it and make sure it's working. So the hard part, yeah, we'll have to do all that, but is when you're doing all that, that mechanism inside is very sensitive. So while we're moving it all over like that, it tends to stop the mechanism. I don't know if putting power to it will start it up again. It did we once. Can, we can try that and see if it'll get it get it jolted and going again. Looks good. But there you go. I don't know why it's blurry. I think but the lens needs cleaning. It is working now. All right, this one's ready to go back in the dash when we uh, reassemble the dash. A little bit of elbow grease and work. We managed to clean this guy up and make it work again. It probably save uh, uh, probably around three hundred dollars. They, they're really expensive on online, so we're looking good here. Looks good. Now we got to finish uh, light bulbs. And it, it thumbs up. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do kind of like a cold start. Um, the windings have worked their way out, but it hasn't been plugged into a battery. So we, what we want to see now is 
if we put power to it, does that crank this thing back up and get it going again? So here we go. Let's give it a try. There it goes. Look at that. Gotta love it. <laughs> I like the fact that this car is going to have the original clock in it and it works. All right. Good job, Dad. Okay, so we're going to uh, set that aside with it hooked up to the battery and just let it run for a little bit. This way we can uh, just, we just want to test it for longevity, make sure it just continues to run and operate like it's supposed to. All right, so we got the clock running, right? Okay, and we, we got all that done, but what we needed to get done after we got it running was we needed to get this class cleaned up. And so we got this apart so that we could get this all cleaned up and, uh, and so that we could also get the face of this cleaned up as well. All right, so I've done that already, but I wanted to bring you in and show you how that works. So. Goes the other way. Goes like this. So this goes in, you've got your, so you got your, your rod here that you can, with your knob, Boop, right there, your little knob that you can adjust the time with. All right, and that was on here like that, okay? You see that? I don't think, there you go, you see that? Okay, that knob, you have to get that knob off and it, it screws off, okay, but very difficult to get it off. So this little gear right here, you see this little gear right here? That's what this knob is pulling down and locking into these gears down here, okay, to adjust the time. What I had to do is take a pair of pliers. I just grabbed a, a pair of pliers like this and very carefully held that gear and then took another pair of pliers and held onto this and then just broke it loose and turned it out. It was very, very tight. So you have to be very careful. And we got it apart. And then this just pulls out like this. We we're able to clean the face of that up uh, nicely. And then we we're able to get in here and clean the glass. I was kind of hoping we could pull the glass out. But you see this plastic piece right here. This is like uh, it pushes in and then locks in here and it holds the glass down in there. And it's 60 some year old plastic and been sitting in a desert for 40 years, just sitting there. I'm not taking any chance of trying to pull this out and it's brittle and I just break it up, okay? It's functioning as it's supposed to right now and we're gonna leave it. Uh, anyways, so I wanted to show you how that came apart. So we're gonna put this back together now and make sure we didn't damage anything and make sure it works still. <laughs> All right, so we got that. And then, and then we're gonna put the uh, knob back on on this side. But in order to do that, I gotta hold the gear on, on this side and then turn that in. Now it's already too tight for me to hold that gear. So now I've got to, I've gotta get my pliers so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this gear. Right there. And then I'm gonna take this other one and I am going to tighten this. And we'll just tighten that back up. And it's too hard to put this thing on and try to hold that with your fingers. Okay, there it is. That's all I was waiting for, for it to snug up. And, and there you go. You got your knob back on. And if you pull it, it goes into the gears and I can adjust the, the time. Okay, so let's put this thing back together and let's make sure everything works now that we've messed with it again. All right, so then this 
goes into here so that this part here comes out the back and then we got to snap this in from one side or the other seems to be better I don't know there it goes and I just gotta there it goes you hear that did you hear it <laughs> I heard it that means it's in Okay, I say we hook up a power source to it and let's see if we screwed it up or not. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Come on, Mr. Shaky Fingers. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Watch that second hand. Let's see if it goes. No, I heard the click. There it went. Look at it. Just, just like it never was turned off. Tick, 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 tick. All right, we didn't break it. Yay. All right, I just wanted to bring you back in. I wanted to make sure we got that lens cleaned since, you know, we got a good working clock. So I thought it was worth the risk to try and get in there and see if we can't clean it up, just being really careful. And I heard it click again. All right, clock is functioning as it's supposed to. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. Well, we got it done. We got the uh, clock cleaned, uh, lubricated, uh, cleaned, lubricated, cleaned, lubricated, uh, you know, until, until it ran. So uh, ultimately on ours, the only thing that we uh, was really wrong with it was it was just gummy and dirty from sitting for so long. Uh, it wasn't terribly bad, but it did need, it did need a lot of cleaning and until it started to work on a regular basis. And as you saw, uh, we did a cold start and it cranked right up. So we think we got a good clock. Uh, and now the next thing we'll do, we'll put that thing in the uh, dashboard once we get the dash all set uh, and restored and ready to start putting it back together. So uh, there's dad. Thanks dad for getting that uh, going and we're on to new things. So guys, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.